Hey, what is up people? This is Johnny and today I'm going to show you how to get a scanner in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Now, I'm going to point out where we're at. We're at Seamawville. This is where the sunken ship is at. So look, take a great look at the map in order to go there. So it's next to um, Slateport and it's also next to um, Dufort. So you're going to need Surf and Dive when you go ahead and go here to find a scanner. And uh, what you do is go through here and you have to go inside as well. And once we're inside, you're going to need to go all the way down. Oh, and take mind that you get dive like at the end, like, like near the end. So you have to get like 7th badge, I believe. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and dive down here. And what you have to do is go, keep going down, keep going down. And yeah, I have a repel. And keep going down and then go down here as well and what you will find in this mysterious room is a scanner that will be around here hold on let me try to find it, it takes a while hold on Mm, the scanner is so, somewhere around here. You just gotta keep looking. That's odd. I can't get it. All right. So I was I wasn't um, pressing at the water, right? I have to find it somewhere. I think it's around here. There it is. There is something glimmering faintly in the water where you pick it up. It's a scanner. Alright, so we got the scanner and I think you have to give the scanner to Captain Stern. It's a key item. Alright, they was found inside of Mauville. Alright, so now what we have to do is head it to to his name Captain Stern so we can turn him in this scanner that we just found. So let's get out of here and I'll go find Captain Stern so you can uh, do the next thing. Alright, we're gonna fly to Captain Stern where where we're gonna continue this mission that we just found. Alright, so he's in Slateport, yeah, he's in Slateport. I'm going somewhere else. Alright, Captain Stern is over here in his shipyard. No, wait, he's in his shipyard, I believe. He has to be in his shipyard. I'm hoping he is. Or not. Yeah, I think I seen him by the... Yeah, I think, yeah, I saw him over here by Slayport. Here he is. This is where he has to be at. Yep, he's here. Oh, that's the device you have there, the scanner from Ma C. Mauville. That could make our expedition really take off. Would you do me a favor and let me take the scanner off your hands? And yes, this will help a lot with the research. Take a bell as a token of my appreciation for your... Okay, key item. That bell figures in old legends from Johto region. It's pretty nice to have. 
when I was working in the Sea of Marvel, I had a working under me who was from parts and he gave me that and I remember his family passed down some special dance but it came only as girls so it's like he came looking for work he kept the bell on his person but sometimes when we were up to on top there at T-Marville the bell would ring and it would almost seem to glow it's such a sure mysterious thing and I had it on for all these years but I'd be happy to conserve you now so I don't know what the bell is for, I guess it's for Hoho or Lugia, so each game will have a different version of the bell. Alright, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Hey, what is up people? So we're back at Sea Mauville and we're going to catch Lugia and um, or Hoho. So the thing you have to do is once you have gotten everything, the Tito Bell or the Clear Bell, you have to go back to see Mauville and then we have to go back to our little location that we found earlier where we found the scanner. The Tito Bell in your bag seems to be glowing. So for each version exclusive, one will get Ho-Ho -Ho for Omega Ruby and Lugia for Alpha Sapphire. Alright, so here you go to this mysterious ring is floating in the water. Extreme pure water, sea water is flowing out from within it. Would you like to examine it? Yes. Alright, so we're examining it. And Lugia appeared. Alright. Alright, no, I'm not gonna use my Rayquaza because my Rayquaza will totally destroy that Lugia. I'm gonna take out Swellow because it has uh, weaker moves. gonna use hydro pump not gonna do that much damage into my um, Pokemon so I'm gonna use wing attack so what in order to capture these Pokemon you can either use the O powers before you actually go ahead and fight it or the capture you capture O power which is really recommended actually um, and then um, try to hit it with like low attacks, try to make it go into its yellow health or its red. But I do recommend, um, if possible, go all the way to yellow and, and red. Alright, so I'm just going to capture it with an Ultra Ball because that's what I usually use in order to capture this Pokemon. I don't really exaggerate with all the <laughs> other types of moves. So you gotta have a Pokemon that isn't too strong either because or else it's gonna die while you're battling it and you don't want that to happen. I'm gonna keep throwing this Ultra Ball at it. And it takes, I know it takes a while sometimes but it's possible. You can't just capture all your Pokemon with Master Ball. Um, I've caught in pretty much all of my legendaries at Capture Room with Ultra Balls. If you, oh, sometimes even nest balls, all types of, just all types of different things I've caught in my Pokemon before. Alright, so he destroyed my Swellow. Ah, uh, because I'm trying to capture it, and that's why he's being a pain. And I only got nine Ultra Balls left. I came in pretty empty-handed. So hopefully one of these capture it. It has to. Oh my god, really? <laughs> Just right about at the moment and it had to go and do that to me. Really? That's not cool, Lugia. Come on, let me capture you. Good thing Lugia doesn't have any restore recover powers on this one. <sighs> really? Okay, come on, it's almost over. A little bit of more capturing and we're almost done. Come on, come on, Lugia. Get in the Pokeball. This is what I don't understand, really. There we go. And come on. Ultra Ball. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Woo! 
and we caught our Lugia, so that's pretty awesome. I managed to capture it. So yeah, really, your legendary Pokemons are not going to be that hard to catch, but some people may find it hard. Let's see what the Pokedex entry says. Registration complete. Lugia's wings pack devastating power. A light flooring from its wing can blow apart regular houses as a result. This Pokemon chooses to live out of sight deep under the sea. No, I would not like to give it a nickname. Alright, thanks for watching, and that's pretty much how you catch Lugia, which is pretty awesome. And thanks for watching.